I don't understand how this is a question that needs to be asked. Like, you see this title, it's Ryu Commander. No question, like I genuinely don't understand where the debate is coming from. After the video where I decided to go over every Kamen Rider build best match, which is a banger of a video by the way, you should go watch it, um, I figured it'd be fun to like explain other common disagreements of the fandom. And when deciding which other disagreements to go over, I, I figured I'd shoot for the lowest hanging fruit and make a video on Kamen Rider O's final form, but then I saw Squall Charleston already made a video on that. I'm playing, 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 I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> But like, I don't understand where the disagreement comes from on this topic. Like, what is there to disagree about, really? I figured the sort of best way to segment this video would be to like, go over the three main contenders for the sixth Q Ranger, and kind of explain what I see being the sort of, like, most logical explanations as to why they might actually be the case. Uh, and spoiler alert, it's not Kotaro. So just to sort of get this out of the way, because I know one of y'all is gonna be like, It's clearly silver! I mean, his Q-Tama has a six on it! Shut up! Normally, I would agree with you. The Silver Ranger, most typically on uh, nearly every team, is more often than not the sixth Ranger. But like, but like, dog. I mean sixth ranger in the way how like no one thinks Ramirez is the sixth Q ranger, even though he technically came before Uchi. Or how like we all kind of agree that Aburay Killer is the sixth ranger in Aburay Ranger, even though there's only five of them. Like 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 don't 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 embarrass yourself like that. Like you're you're better than that. My definition of a sixth ranger is the random motherfucker who comes up in the second toy catalog to push the next wave of toys. That should be pretty clear, but like, then you have some instances where the lines are kind of blurred. But, you know who does this exact thing in Q-Ranger? Ryu Commander literally shows up to push the second wave of toys in Q-Ranger. The entire second catalog is dedicated to pushing his Morpher, his Mecha, Along with Kotaro, but we're getting there. The second toy catalog always shows the six rangers. That's just that's just how it goes, to be honest. Like, it should be simple. But also, a ton of people claim that he's not a sixth ranger because of the fact that Homeboy is around from the first episode. But like, so is Cam and Ninja Storm. I know we're like crossing state lines here, but like the same logic should apply, to be honest. I see a lot of people comparing him to like Decca Master, and like, yeah, 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 I get that. Okay. But like I don't know, Deca Master wasn't really used to push another wave, you know what I mean? He, his Morpher was sort of just like a repaint of everyone else's. Plus like his mecha wasn't really used for like the super combination. You know what I mean by the super combination? Like 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 midway through like that first sort of arc of the show, like all, all the- everyone's like, yeah, let's, let's put them together and then put them together again, you know what- you get what I'm saying? I don't know. Meanwhile, Deca Break had his own Morpher that was unique to him, and his mecha combined directly with Deca Robo. And the same thing with Ryu Commander, sorta. Like, he has his own Morpher, and he has his own mecha that combines with Q Reno. Like, it attaches on the back and everything. Like, you, you know this. And so does Kotaro. But again, we're getting there. Um, but before that, I want to mention how Ryu Commander appears around the time most Sixth Rangers do nowadays, like within the past couple years. I know back in the day, Six Rangers used to show up around like the episode 20 mark, and trust me, I miss those days too. But like, Two Kaiser showed up in episode 8, and so does Star Ninja and Kiryu Gold. Kirmei Silver showed up in episode 12. Oguma Sky Blue was 11. We'll actually probably be getting to that right now. <laughs> So I'll be honest with you, it's not Kotaro. The strongest evidence I have towards Kotaro being the Sixth Ranger is the fact that like, yeah, he shows up a little after everyone else does during the second quarter, but like, he's more of a Ramirez type character in my eyes. As different as these two kind of seem out of suit, the light blue rangers kind of fill this role of being an additional ranger that exists solely for the purpose of being an additional body to pilot one of the auxiliary mechs. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I like them both a lot, to be honest with you. Um, but neither of them have a unique morpher either. 
Kotaro literally uses a Seiza Blaster, and Ramirez actually doesn't even have a Morpher. But like, the strongest piece of evidence that he might actually have is that he's the one that shows up when Two Kaiser uses the Q Ranger Sentai gear, which is actually quite damning of a lot of my other Six Ranger arguments. Not necessarily arguments that I use in this video, but I always believe that if Abare Killer gets to be the sixth Abare Ranger, then that means Geki Chopper is the sixth Geki Ranger. And after all these years of like genuinely believing in this fact, Gokai Silver comes around and ruins that for me. But then Two Kaiser shows up and makes things seem like all right again. But then he summons Kotaro when he uses a Sentai gear, and I and Kotaro is genuinely the one I believe the least in being the sixth Q Ranger. Meaning that literally none of this makes any fucking sense. I genuinely don't think anyone's gonna attempt to argue that it is Kotaro in the comments, so I'm just sort of gonna move on to the next guy, if that's all right. I, I, I really don't think any of you genuinely believe it's Kotaro, unless I'm wrong. I, dude, there's gonna be like six of you. <laughs> All right, so this one actually might be where things get interesting because this is where my whole new Morpher, new Megazord argument sort of falls apart. But like, the thing is, Hollow Soldier shows up in episode 21, which if we were to go based off old Sentai logic, um, that's around the same time where like Decca Break, Shurikenger, Gao Silver, all them sort of showed up, right? But Hollow Soldier's mecha is kind of used for like the final mecha combo. It, uh, oh. But Ho Soldier's mecha is kind of used for like the final mecha combo, if that makes sense. Like that's sort of like mid to like towards the end of season final, put them everything, all of it together. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm using these terms wrong. I will say this though, and this is actually a very strong argument as to why it might be Ho Soldier, and that's that of like all three, all of these guys actually really. Um, Ho Soldier most definitely has the closest thing to like an arc in the show that's solely about him and i feel like that's a typical sixth ranger thing sky blue and commander get like focus episodes but like a tenth of the show a literal tenth of the show is about like surrogate sort of like being introduced to the team and stuff but with that in mind i still don't count him as the six because like when surrogate does show up he's kind of like the second red ranger i kind of mean that literally but like during the Hibitsky Metal, like, time travel arc thing, they sort of forced the team to, like, split up into two separate units, uh, which made for, like, really interesting episodes. I love Q-Ranger. Where Lucky, obviously, is, like, leading one half of the team, that's, like, six of them, and then that's all fine and good, and then Sergi is left sort of, like, being the second Red Ranger of, like, his own sort of team. Like, I don't really know how else to explain it, besides the fact that, like, in my mind, Q Rangers sort of split up into like these two core seasons. Like from episode one to the moment that like Stinger kills his brother, that acts as like the total of like season one in my head. Because it's such like a clear distinctive point in the show where like you sort of tie up all these loose ends, at least all the main ones. And then like season two begins with like ho soldiers like introduction to the team and that's around the halfway mark around like episode 20 21 right um and there's 40 something episodes and so this kind of means that in a way from my perspective ho soldier is the red ranger of his own damn season i don't know if that really means anything because he isn't but like like i, I see ho soldier as another red ranger if, if that makes sense Anyways, I'm not gonna lie to you, after making this video, I, I, I kinda see Ho Soldier a little more than Ryu Commander, because I kinda feel like I'm grasping at straws trying to like explain how I see Ho Soldier in my head. I, I, I seem like an extra hero, but not really. But then you kinda put in the Deca Rangers in there, and it's like, Deca Master is clearly not the, the, the sixth Ranger, but also, Ryu Commander is literally the exact same thing as Deca Master when you really break it down. So it's just a whole jumbled mess. Anyways, I'm hoping none of y'all turn on me in the comments for saying it's not Kotaro, but um, I'm gonna go write a doctoral dissertation on why Hibitsukai Metal is actually the sixth Q Ranger. Um, and hopefully I see you in the next video. Bye bye!